sometimes, especially when I was in the ashram, and I would sit and meditate, you would feel a lot of light and incredible energy run through your body. The same thing happens to me when I sit down and work with clay. Throwing on the wheel is a form of meditation because you have to center and you have to stay focused throughout the whole process of making a pot. There are some people that um, they want to get a reaction out of you and they want to express through their medium, they want to get you agitated and thinking about the plight of the world today. And there's nothing wrong with that and I don't mind that at all as long as it's done well. I want to evoke spirituality and calmness, that's my thing. when I started reading, I realized why I was so drawn to them. The holy men are buried under pagodas. So the way that I approached the project, I didn't want to just sit down and try to imitate a pagoda. Rather than um, trying to sketch them and, and duplicate it, I would get up every morning, I would spend a half an hour of meditation, wedge my clay, make my pagodas. I proceeded to make about 60 of them in the year, and out of those, a handful, I felt, really nailed what I was trying to convey. In the art world, crafts is definitely looked down upon. That it's just util it's, it's used to drink out of. What's the big deal? It's clay, it's earth, it's dirt, it's mud. It's way harder to convince people to, to buy one-of-a-kind ceramics. Part of it is people don't have the um, disposable income like they used to, like times are tougher. And so, you know, they'd rather go to Walmart and buy a mug for a dollar than buy a mug for $40. So it is getting harder on the ceramist to do functional wear and expect to make a living out of it. I've had people come and tell me, I wake up and I drink out of your mug every morning and it makes me so happy. You're not going to get that from a Walmart mug. <laughs>